gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you back to the 8th Annual Derby City Classic. We're live in Louisville, Kentucky, and tonight's uh, premium matchup here tonight is a bank pool ring game. And at this time, I'd like to turn it over to the professor, Mr. Grady Matthews, to uh, introduce the participants, and we'll be underway shortly. Grady Matthews, please. Thank you, Scott. It's a great honor just to host this quality discipline, the ring bank pool game. Before I get started with the introductions real quickly, I want everybody to know Scott and I go back a long ways. We had pool rooms on the opposite ends of town in Colorado Springs, and he used to come out and play in my crap game. He booked some nice winners. And don't one, tell him about the ex-wife. And then you. one time, well, I won't tell you. You got two ex-wives, don't you? Uh, three or four. Three or four. All right. I have to watch Scott. Not as many as you. Like some of these young pool players, he gets in trouble. He gets arrested, and sometimes he doesn't have his paperwork in order. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. I'd like to introduce these great players. From Chicago, one of the best bank pool players in the world. How about a big hand for Glenn Piggy Bank Rogers? And not to be outdone, the next gentleman won this event last year from Indianapolis. Please welcome Brian Gregg. And this next guy, he claims that you can hear him practicing, whoop, whoop, as the ball hits his pocket. <laughs> and he told the tournament director, didn't he, to not have you schedule any of his matches upstairs, because if he hit somebody with a 10 or 15 ball run, they'd have to jump out of the window. They might commit suicide. They might commit suicide. 59 years old, right here from Louisville, please welcome the mighty Truman Hogue. Also from Kentucky and a great bank pool player. This gentleman plays all the games well, and he's a, a threat to win any major tournament. How about a big hand for John Brumbeck? <laughs> the next gentleman once described pool players as masturbatory. In one of his celebrated articles, he's from Chicago. He's a raconteur, an author, and quite a bank pool player. Please welcome 65-year-old Freddie the Beard Bentavegna. Next, nobody plays a better game of banks than this gentleman. He runs seven, eights, tens. I even saw him run like a 13 or 14 one day practicing. He's from Poplar Bluff, Missouri, 53 years old and still plays a mean game of banks. How about a big hand for the mighty, Tony Fargo? Yeah. And lastly, personally, Scott, I'm just delighted to have this gentleman sponsored by his new deal. He has number 20. The 2005 Nextel Cup champion, Tony Stewart, in his corner. And uh, that's great. That's his new sponsor. And I look forward to seeing more championship play out of this gentleman. And he'll uh, rev it up, too. He sure will. There's never been a finer champion or a better player than the mighty Shannon Dalton. Shannon, thank you. All right, Scott, I'm going to turn it over to you. And they're going to start off $100 a bank, and the increments go up mightily. Okay. Thank you, Grady Matthews. Uh, once again, we're going to start at $100 a ball. At this time, Carmine Sardo with a Sardo tight rack will do the draw for the uh, rotation of the uh, uh, players. Okay, Carmine, I'm going to start with uh, Freddie Bentevegna, please. Okay, Freddie Bentevegna will break in the first game. Shannon Dalton. Seven. John Brumbeck, Owenton, Kentucky. He'll shoot in the fifth position. Truman Hogue, Louisville, Kentucky. Number six. Glenn Rogers, Piggy Bank, Chicago, Illinois. Number three. Brian Gregg, Indianapolis. Number four. And last for Tony Fargo, the deuce. He'll shoot out of the two position. Carmine, if you will, rack him up. We'll get underway. And uh, Freddie Bentevec, that breaks in game number one. Louisville, can we have a hand, please, with the world's greatest bank pool players? Thank you very much. Let's go. You need to do a, a sound check or anything? Okay. Okay, this is the eighth annual uh, Derby City Classic. And we have a special event here, a ring uh, bank pool game uh, really developed by our professor Grady Matthews and of course at the same time we have the bank pool tournament going in the other room and that is the first division of our all-around tournament here at the beautiful Executive West Inn 
and we do have seven of the finest bank pool players in the world right here. I'm Danny DiLiberto, and I have Grady Matthews, my good friend. It's an honor to do commentary with you, Danny. We go back a long ways, and we'll have some fun seeing if we can pick out what these great bank pool players select as their shot. They're starting off 100 bucks a bank, and the increments go up every two games or 30 minutes, whichever comes first. I think the way Tony strikes his first bank will bode well or badly for how he progresses tonight. What do you think? Well, uh, I, it's a little bit different than playing head-to-head -head because you you got to be a little more aggressive in this. You know, in playing in a tournament head-to-head, -head, you got to be careful what you bank. You don't want to leave an easy bank, but they're not going to be thinking of that. Everybody's going to be shooting. Don't you agree? I agree. It's all off, Vincent. Mm -hmm. And as we go along, let's fill these. Uh, interested people in on who these mighty players are. The gentleman at the table now is Glenn. Uh, everybody calls him Piggy or Piggy Banks. He's from Chicago and absolutely plays as fine a bank pool as anybody in the world. Finished second in the major event here uh, a couple of times. And he's come close a few times, of course, and he really wants to win badly. It's like you, you mentioned about someone making a deal with the devil to win. I don't think he'd go that far, but it's close. He wants to win badly. Well, he's a nice gentleman, and he's never been financially blessed. Uh, I, he told me the other day that he's got uh, a piece of land that was left to him in Mississippi, and he's thinking about moving down there. I told him, I said, Glenn, I think you'd do better down there in Mississippi than Chicago. It's just my opinion. Anyway, he's a nice fellow. I always pull for him to do well. Now, the guy here is Brian Gregg. He ran Same seven back. banks and out to win the last year's. Uh, bank pool ring game. Against John Brombeck, what, right? Well, it was against uh, five other guys, but Brombeck was one of them. Yeah. Now, Brombeck is one of the contestants here. That's the thing about banks. With These are tight, tight pockets, right. and he John came Brumbach. really close to making that ball, and it may go on other tables, but he hit it very well. Now, here's a guy I really like to win at Brombeck. He played great last time. Yeah. He had a run of, like, seven banks. And um, he's just uh, possessed of bank pool knowledge. He's got the perfect stroke for that, that type of shot. He's really a great guy. Oh, he's a marvelous and guy. And his sponsor is Sherm Cuse. Sherm oh, Addison Sherm. is from Cincinnati. And uh, he makes and sponsors John Brombeck. And it's a very fine cue. And he'll make you see it. Look at that shot, That's Danny, to start with. He did that last year, the whole tournament, all those long banks. He just fired them in like they were nothing. That's what I meant. The way you hit the first bank, yeah. I think. First know. blood. Sure. He just made Five 600. What do you think the high run's going to be? You said there's a guy named Barnett is is going to give away a thousand to the high run. To the high run. Well, what I, do you think you, the high run will be? I tried to bet, like I did last year, that there'd be a high run of six or more. Yeah, I, I say six or seven myself. Switch. And John might do that right now. Oh, don't get over the top. Oh, that's a little hard luck there. Well, he he does have the eight, I believe. Uh, no, eight, he can't. The eight, he, he can't. can't no, no. It's, it's a little off angle. I tell you, the shot I like here, if you can't see the the brown ball, is to bank the three cross corner. He's close to it, and he can at least seven make a good hit. Oh, he can see the seven. All right. Okay. That's good because the three, you're so close to the ball that when you hit it, it's going to get a world of left hand English. It's going to be tough to hit it uh, sharp enough anyway. So, Now, if John makes this, where he opens up with two out of three banks to begin with, uh, hard ones. Or two. He um, made two. Yeah, he made two. He made two. How do we uh, the score? We need the score. Yeah, how do we know the standings? And well, we're going to have to have a good, good uh, accountant there. We're going to show the score after uh, every rack. Okay. So right now, uh, if you're interested, Brownback just made twelve hundred dollars. One of the rare times that Truman will yeah. finesse a bank instead of pounding at 100 miles an hour like That's you That's a good out. point. He hates yeah. to roll one. Yeah. He hit it pretty well, too. A little more speed, it might have gone, but he wanted to control the cue ball. I want to mention at least a couple more times during the telecast uh, about Shannon's new sponsor, Tony Stewart. Yeah. And I agree with you. It is very good for the game. Oh, absolutely. 
because other people might uh, jump on that and sponsor other players. He's got two choices here. He could twist the seven a little bit, or I like this out to the three ball yeah. cross side. He, he's looking to see three if the seven goes, seven. but the three looks like the, the most logical shot here, and he figures to hit it at least close. Get it? Nice Switch. shot, nice shot. Watch out. Oh, oh he's going to okay. be all right. He's all right. Got a good angle to bank the seven, seven cross side. Then. He does. Now these guys put up two thousand dollars each, so even at the lowest increment, a hundred dollars a bank, uh, that's not a lot of units. You only got twenty barrels. That's two games if you don't make a bank. Yeah, that's right. Now Shannon's on a three already. Yeah. That's eighteen hundred. Uh, he looks like he came to play. Score three, Mr. See, there's an, yeah, another case of a guy that likes to fire him in, rolling it. He doesn't have the accuracy that he would have firing it, but that shot called for that speed. What do you think of Freddie, 65 years old, getting in here and mixing it up with these young guns? I'd love to see Freddie do well. I, you? I said that. I said that earlier. He's my sentimental choice because we we are such good friends, and he really has a passion for bank pool. And he would love to win it. He'd walk on air. He wouldn't even care about the money. Right, I know. What's he playing? Cross corner here? Yeah, he's going to cross it. Well, he double banked it. You know, and that double bank is close to making it one rail, but that doesn't get paid. Tony This is a good shot for Tony. Now these top bank pool players will hardly ever miss a cross side of this yeah. nature. You're right. Watch out, cue ball. And now he's going to play the eight straight back to his right. See, in, in a match, you may not want to shoot this because you're going to sell out a pretty easy bank on that too. But in this game, you have to go all out and try to make as many as you can. Close. Close, but no cigar. And we got the cross side bank. Piggy Banks. Piggy Banks. He's another one with a passion, wants to win so badly. I guess Shannon beat him a couple times and stopped him from winning. Yeah, he, he made the finals in the bank pool tournament here twice. And, and so he's got two second place finishes. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. 470 players this year just in the bank pool Amazing. division. Oh, oh, that's man. hard luck. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's hard luck. In a way, it is. Yeah. He hit it good. He concentrated on the hit, not the cue ball. Now, see and this here, Danny, with ball in hand. I respectfully submit to you that uh, uh, these bank pool players, these top bank pool players, are going to hit this kind of bank better than you and I will. Oh, well, <laughs> better than you and I. When well, no, they will. Ever, when did we ever play bank pool? Well, no, but I'm, I'm just saying. It wouldn't they, matter. Uh, Maybe if we played, we still couldn't. Right? Yeah, well, this is a, this kind of shots are well, tough. Well, tell me this. Piggy Bank scratched. Two balls, straight back. Okay, what's the penalty for scratching? Nothing. Nothing, yeah. nothing. He don't owe one or nothing. No. There's no. there's not a freebie. Every bank you make, you get to keep. I only mentioned it. I figured that out, but I figured for the public out there, they might want to know what happened there. Now that's two banks that uh, were close. Yeah, by him, uh, long He's distance ones and everything. Now the shot I like here, I'll tell you what I like a lot, is the eight ball cross corner because you're close to it. Of you course. know you're going to make a good hit on it. Right. Well, if we were playing one pocket and we, we needed one, I would love this shot. I would consider the game over, wouldn't you? Sure. But what is he looking at? He can't well, he's trying to play position. That's a big deal. I think the guys that are going to do well in this are going to have to play pretty good position. Yeah. You don't want to make one. No. You make one a rack, it isn't going to help you win. In fact, you make one a rack, you're like breaking even. Eight ball, cross corner. Now this shot here, uh, I like using no English or uh, a touch of writing. He's going to come high with that. Yeah. Usually they miss it the other way right, because exactly. the, the balls grab so much that that ball would have got a ton of right-hand English and gone too long. But 
he was thinking of that, and he overcompensated. What do you like, four in the corner here, my friend? Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Don't let the cue ball get in the way. Too long. Uh-oh, someone's going to like this. And he can't even scratch. You see this shot? If you hit it natural speed, you're going right at that corner pocket, and he has a ball to block that. Right, and what he'd like to do, really, is play the six ball next. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The four, uh, he, pink ball. He really would like to make that ball, maybe, at the same time. Well, good hit. He made the bank. Had he hit that ball full and made it, that other ball, the billiard, he would have had a nice bank on the six. I don't know. Could he, could he uh, cross? Well, no, he could play the, the uh, what is that, the 10 way down there? He could play that. He wants to go forward and play this one. Yeah, this goes. I didn't really like that no. shot selection. I, I like the other one better. The other one laid more naturally, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Sure. This one had to be like perfect. Okay, Freddie, get on the scoreboard. Yeah, no. the time to time, I'm gonna, you're going to find me pulling for Freddie, and it doesn't mean I don't like the other players. Just no, we're painfully neutral when it comes yeah. to the pros, yet yeah. it's hard not to have a sentimental favorite in a Freddie. Well, Freddie is really a rare breed because I used to gamble with him playing one pocket, you know, and I would, and I would give him like... Uh, 10-8 then 11-8 and all right. that and I beat him and beat him and beat him and he said and we were betting high so he finally said you know what forget the spot and let's just play for 50 I want to learn how to run the balls he said and I don't care if I lose and of course we became such good friends I didn't want to gamble with him anymore good hit so isn't that nice the way these top oh. bank pool players hit that kind of shot they hit it with authority yeah here's another one yeah now here I play position for a two in the corner yeah. On the two ball. Made that two. one. Oh, he tried to make the ball. That would have been a great shot. I don't know. Does he have a two railer here? The yeah, point I, out think, of the way. I, I think so. We haven't mentioned yet, Danny, that this game features the three rail or more kick oh, right, shot right, right. feature, too. In the bank pool, generally when you're gambling or in a tournament, you have to play and hit the ball first for a bank to count. No kisses, yeah, no look, combination. Uh, He's shooting the three railer like Grady. And said. he plays the system. I oh, like yeah. that. He's going to make this. He's going to make this. Oh, oh, that was close. You know what? That was tougher to miss than to make. If you bet someone that you could hit it like that, miss it. That was tougher than making it. Yeah, they had it perfect to miss it. <laughs> Am I right? I, I mean, that's a tough. A, I thought he hit it a touch hard. A touch hard, but he wanted to be assured of it not going long, and that speed made the the, the three cushion bank accurate. You hit that a little softer, and it goes longer. Oh, uh, piggy banks generally makes that kind. Yes, he does. <laughs> This is going to be tough, except after the rack to see the score. We can't talk about who won a game and who didn't and who's ahead. We're going to have to wait till every rack is over. We're informed that Dalton's got 3,900 right now, and he's the leader. I would say Rombach is probably second. We could use a couple of pins, couldn't we, Danny? The, we're being yeah, submitted information, score. but we yeah. need something to write it down with. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you people out there in the Billiard Club Network, uh, tell your neighbors about she this. It's twenty nine ninety five for the whole week and you see every division played and even some action games and maybe a little entertainment also. And besides that, if you're close enough, come down here because there's nothing like being here in person. Well, well I think this that's is going to be a sellout here. I think that that's the entertainment, the sporting entertainment value of the century. $30 to get a week's worth Actually, more than a week for yeah. the tournament, nine days right. uh, of this great event. Well, that is a, that is really a bargain, and you're seeing the best. Now, this is almost my electric chair bank there. Well, Truman, uh, 
a couple of times we've played in these back to the ring games, hasn't really gotten off to a good start. I'd love to see him do exactly that. Well, you know, he doesn't play a real lot. He plays in this event once a year. Second place, Tony Fargo, 3,100. Followed by John Brumbach at 2400. Uh, Shannon is the money leader, 3800. Tony Fargo, 3100. Brumbach, 2400. Now, the guys that have to worry here, my friend, are Freddie Bentevegna and Brian Gregg. They did, and, and one other guy that didn't, did not make a bank. Yeah, they could be out in three games if they don't make one. Oh, and, and Glenn Rock. Yeah. Oh, no, that's a no no. That is a no-no. Who shoots second? They're going to love it. Wow, scratch and break. Dalton, that's too we got the three. We got the three. I don't know. The one ball is yeah, in the way the one of a lot ball, of stuff. The one ball is sort of in the way. I don't know what the right shot is. Daniel doesn't yeah. play I'm very good. I'm trying to look. He has long ones. I mean, how about... Oh, I don't know. I think the three might be the shot even with the one in the way. I mean, it's not totally blocking it, but... How about the three cross corner? That's the shot, I think. Oh, that's what he's doing. Oh, cross corner. That's what he's doing. And I'll tell you why. I bet you this don't roll off. No, of course not. And it did. Uh, oh, that's look at this position. That's a pretty stroke, isn't it? Sure is. Look at the position. Yeah, sure. Oh, he sure. might run a bunch here. He sure might. He's trying to see if the ball, he's looking at the seven brown ball. He wants to see if it goes by the eight. I think it, I mean, that's not the eight. Ball, what no, is it, the two, two ball, yeah. Two ball. Yeah, I think it goes, because it it, it's going to stiffen. He can play position here, too. Yep. Look at this, he's got the, this lays perfect. Yeah. yeah. And cross corner. Oh, boy. He's got a few shots here. Well, he can't reach the five ball. Well, he has uh, the eight. He has the two. I like the one cross corner. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Here's another one. Won't roll off. Oh, he missed it by a hair. I give Freddie a shot here. I don't think Freddie's got much here. He's going to have to play the six ball up to the right. Yeah, he can't uh, reach it probably. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to try to twist the nine by the uh, eight ball? And Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. That looks like an awfully hard shot. It is. Well, he doesn't have anything good. In, in, the, in the ball you call, I don't think he could reach the cue ball real well. He might be able to lean over the yeah. table like yeah. this. That's the well, he could have 30 years ago before the belly. <laughs> right, right. He's belly hooked. He's got the saying. belly hook. Oh, Freddie. I hope he doesn't get shut out and out. You know, that'll be such a disappointment. Yeah, I don't want to see that either. Yeah. Well, I really don't want to see anybody do that. Like you say, we're a little partial to Freddie. Freddie, what in the hell have you come up with here? True, but actually, what in the hell have you come up with here? He's got a trick bridge. He made oh, it. He yeah, made it. What a nice hit. It's dipping in. Oh, yeah. It's dipping in. Hey, good shot. All right. You can tell already he's a crowd poser. Yeah, the people are pulling for him. You're an old one. You're an old one. True, it's bad because he rolled it. He doesn't like that. Yeah. Cross corner. The powder up. He's a technician, Freddie. Oh, he, absolutely. Yeah, he, he's uh, got a lot of mechanics in his game. He's a real character. He used to have a cat called Trifectus. <laughs> and you know why, folks? Because he is a horse nut. Horse degenerate. And I don't have to worry about knocking him because he doesn't have a wife. <laughs> right. I got players in trouble a few times talking that way. All right, come on, Freddie. Let's get he this. Made oh, did he, he make made it? it, yeah. Sure, he nice made shot, it. Nice Never shot. a doubt. Oh, man, look at this. He almost got position. Oh, man, that ball would have bounced another couple inches. He had a gimme. This kind of shot here, uh, if he plays the four ball cross side, I have trouble with that. Yeah, he doesn't really have much. 
but he did get on the scoreboard. That's like $1,200 he just made, so he's not in danger of getting eliminated in two games. Right, right. But others are. Well, he's going to play this cross side. Twice. He's, gonna, he's not going to play it twice. That, that won't work. The two, won't. two balls in the way. Yeah. Well, he's playing the, uh, it looks like he decided to shoot the eight now. That might be the only shot he really has. The problem with this shot, Danny, is a kiss shot. And oh, it's not if you go forward. If you spin to the inside, there's no kiss. But you got to put a little left, I believe. He does right, he might get the kiss. You need a little left and go on the inside of it. See, he, he missed it so badly that we'll never know about the kiss there. Well, that shot. It's hard to get the inside English that I like to use yeah. on it because you're right on the rail pretty much with the cue ball. He's looking at the scoreboard, our man Freddie. Well, he's got to feel a little better. At least he made a couple. Oh, yes. Truman didn't yeah. like them because they were dribblers, but <laughs> said, well, that's part of the game. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a, he's got room to make this. He's made every one of these so far. Oh boy, I was wrong. Maybe maybe the ball was in the way. Or I thought it was in the way from here, but well, of course sometimes from up here yeah. the vantage point is deceptive. All right, we got. We when it's close, I go by the player's judgment. If he's shooting it, I say it goes. You know. Now Piggy needs to make some banks, doesn't he? He needs to, or he's going to be sleeping in the street. Final straight back. He's playing position here. Someone's going to like it if he misses. He missed. Oh, look at this bank. Look at the bank on the two. Oh, he makes the bank on the two. He's going to have a few other gimmies. Well, Brian hasn't made any yet, has he? He was one of the guys in danger. Yeah, Brian needs to make some to uh, be assured not to get eliminated quick. He's a Bugs protege, is Brian, uh -huh. and his performance last year, Bugs was here for it. It was just spectacular. Nice shot. Well, Bugs is going to be here. Uh, Supposed to be here tomorrow, yeah. health permitting. He's day to day in some areas. Yeah, so. yeah. What a shame. Big, strong-looking guy, very athletic looking, and he got ill, or he'd love to be playing in all this. Oh, which wouldn't he this would. been perfect for him? A perfect oh, yeah. vehicle. Oh, sure. Now, I don't see too much of a shot here, Danny. I don't either. I don't either. He, he may he may have a two railer on the one. See it? You can you can beat the kiss a two railer on the one. Yeah, with left English. Yeah. So the standard but, one pocket shot Danny yeah. was talking about here. Yeah, I think he's gonna shoot it too. That's pretty much his only shot, there. Yeah. Well, he's doing something else. What is he doing? Oh, he's trying to go under the five. Or in, what is this? He's going to have to roll this and slop it in. No, he re that really was like a stiff he shot. Oh, it I would think was, so. Yeah. yeah. I like the two railer on the one. And Brombeck is going to like this uh, one ball. Yeah, the problem here, he can't really play position. He wants to just sense this ball. Like he's looking now. Um, yeah, he's going to cinch it and take the long bank. And, you know, and if he happens to make this and the eight, he has a nice bank. But that's looking way up the road. He just wants to slap this in oh, and yeah. kind of stop the cue ball. Yes, he would. Oh, oh you rarely see him miss a yeah. bank like that. Yeah, you know what might have been the discouraging part is he knew he was going to have a tough bank next. Right. You know, it, it's... I haven't seen Truman ever get limbered up in this game yet. And if he does, the, the other bankers will have a... Like look that? At this, like that, exactly. So that's the truth that we know, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's not going to roll off when he shoots. Cross side with the yeah, eight. Yeah, he's uh, going to have to cut it backwards. But it's the only shot he has, and he has to shoot it. That's what he's shooting. He might be back into eight between the one and the four. Like, oh, no, he side. played okay. the side. He made it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the Truman we know. Yeah, that's exactly right. What does he have here? Can he stiffen the one ball? This is another one of his good shots. If anybody can stiffen anything, it's him. Yeah, well, that's what he's doing. Oh, he got the kiss. Well, that was a hard one. And he jumped up, too. And I talked to him earlier about that. And he said that uh, he's jumping up a little. He knows it. He feels it because he's not playing every day. Right. 
you know, when you're playing every day, you can concentrate on the fundamentals and the game. But when you're not playing every day, it's tough to do all that. Oh, look, perfect. He's left-handed, too. Oh, he stiffened it too much. Oh, he's supposed to make that one. If we were playing one pack and he had that, I'd feel dead. Right? He didn't yeah. hit that good. Well, that's a hard shot. Oh, I know yeah. it is, but he's left-handed. He could reach it. He's a great banker. I, I wouldn't have bet against him making that. I'd love to see Freddie Freddy run these two. Yeah, me too. And break the balls and make yeah. something and get rolling with that. Well, what I meant, Danny, was he hit it a when little too hard, and he put he put English on the ball yeah, by, he did. by doing that. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Freddie isn't loose yet, you know. No, no. Well, that shot he just had, I find that when I put draw on the cue ball, it affects my aim a lot. Uh, if I just try to stop it, the cue ball. Well, uh, you know why that is? I know why I do. But why I don't know you, you do. Why yeah. don't you tell I'm gonna, our viewers? Because you're further away from the center of the ball, and it's tougher to split the cue ball, you know, in half. Right. Uh, but when you're hitting to stop it, you're hitting dead center all the way around. So it's easier to, to, to have control. Right? Right, absolutely. Well stated. Oof. Oh, boy. He hit that pretty good. Close. Now, Tony, Close. Tony has never had any fear, so he was going all out to play position there. Mm -hmm. Now, this is Mr. Rogers' last hurrah. He's got to make this bank here, or it's going to be good evening. 20 banks at 100 bucks, uh, 20 balls at 100 bucks each, and $2,000 is kaput. Nice shot. Nice That's shot, great. Lynn. Yeah. Well, you know, now that I think about it, I forgot that he made a nice bank and scratch. Do you remember? Yes, that's oh, right. He got a bum roll there. Yeah. Oh, he went all out at it, for sure. Oh, I guess we spot that ball, mm -hmm. right? Right, absolutely. Ball spot, Scott. You know, I'm what used to playing. Um, right, Scott, what happened? Spots. It spots. He, he doesn't have to kick at it. It spots up. Got to kick it. It spots up. It spots up. Got no. <laughs> Truman's telling him you got to kick at it. He's kidding, of course. But you know what? From I played a lot in the bars, and you're playing eight ball. That's what they tell you. you they scratch, and they want you to get the worst of it. And you got to kick at this. Right, right. It's ridiculous. Truman was kidding around. He said you got to kick. Well, of course, you can't kick. Well, I'm glad to see Truman at least make a few banks and stay uh -huh. in, uh, in action. Well, they're all going to be in it a while now. He zeroed in good here. Look at this concentration. Get it? Well, I, I love his good. bank game, don't you? Well, I guess. I really didn't know much about him until last year when he dusted everybody off. Well, it's time to go to 200 a bank. And draw the pill. All right, 4,900 Shannon. And, uh, let's see, Tony Fargo and Truman, 2,100 each. Freddie and Brumbach, 1,400 each. And Glenn Rogers down to 700. Yeah. He's in trouble. Well, he just made a bank or he would have been out of it. That bank he made kept him alive. He would have had zero. Oh, number 21. Yeah, it's a good thing he made that bank. He would have been eliminated. 200 a ball. 200 a ball. Well, that means uh, Piggy Banks is in for three and a half balls. Right. It's like poker. When you're broke, you're out of here. In the middle of a hand, in the middle of a game. You know, Danny, I, I didn't believe it, but I... I you know, I don't think I know everything. I believe the 10-ball version is more exciting than the 15-ball, don't you? Oh, of course it is. There's more uh, off offense. The too many balls in the way. They, you know, a, they're not going to have shots. Oh, who's next? Oh, you're right. So you know what we're talking about, folks out there? When they gamble, usually they play with 15 balls. Now, that puts a lot of balls in the way to stop banks. Uh, ten ball doesn't. Okay, if Rombeck can make a, a bank here, he's going to love it. 
This is a pretty easy bank. He'll play the cue ball to go to the near side rail after mm -hmm. it hits the eight. He won't draw this. He'll just hit it with a nice high ball. The and reason, actually, yeah. he'll float out about in the middle of the table. Yeah. He, the reason he won't draw is he don't want to hit any balls. He, you know, if he banks this, he's going right just out like, clear. Just like that. Ooh, what goes here? One. He well. didn't really get a great shot. He's got the, is this the 10 ball? He's That's got all that. He's got. Good enough. Good enough. 10 ball, cross corner. He over stiffened that. Yeah, he got to, he got a little funny on it in my opinion. Yeah. He over stiffened it. Now, I tell you what, now here Truman's about to run some banks here, Danny. He's got a good beginning shot. Okay, well what will he go to though? Well that's right, he doesn't have real good uh, No, he doesn't. Oh. oh, he jumped up again. See folks, when I say he jumped up, he didn't stay right down through the stroke and you lose accuracy and your follow through veers off. You must stay down to at least that cue ball hits the object ball. Now, what shots you like here, Danny? Oh, the seven. Yeah, I seven, agree. Yeah. Seven ball. He's close and he should hit it at least close. All right, it's Freddie's turn. You know, I got Freddie's book. He's got a book out on banking, and he's got another one I haven't had a chance to read yet. But I got some valuable information out of it. A shot like this nine ball bank, mm -hmm. if he elects to shoot at one rail across the side, he yeah. puts three tips of left English on the cue ball. Mm -hmm. Now, I never thought of doing that, and I'll be darned if it doesn't transfer the English pretty nice. Oh, sure. sure. This is the best shot, though. A little right hand in use, played overcut at the hair, medium speed. Oh, I thought he was shooting the two ball. I didn't see that yeah, he was shooting the three. He overcut it. You know how quiet the crowd is? They're really concentrating hard. They love their bank pool in Kentucky. That's Absolutely, for sure. they sure do. Tony Fargo can make some banks here if he can get by this one. You know what the difference is between me and a great bank pool player on a shot like this? They'll make this probably. He jumped up and hit it terrible. Seven or eight times out of ten, I'll make it four out of ten. Oh. Well, if this nine twists, he really has a good shot. He sure does. And yeah. man. He's not even looking at it, and neither did Freddie. And with only three and a half barrels left, Danny. Uh, yeah, he better know, he, make one. Of course, that two crosses pretty nicely. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's good. But he's so close to the nine, he can get all the English he wants on that ball. That nine needs to get right-hand English, but he's not shooting it. He's gonna, he's gonna play this straight back. Oh, what a bad roll! He made the cue ball again. Maybe no, it's gonna dip. Yeah. He's just missing those by hair. There's, there's times you make all those, and there's times they all wobble. Well, bank pool is like that, as you know. You can have a night where you really played a little better than your opponent, but you missed maybe three or four banks by, by a hundredth of an inch or something yeah, like that. That's all it is. But in general, I'd, I'd say that there's less luck in banks than any other pool No game. doubt about it. No doubt about it. No combinations. You can't kiss it in off something. No, it's it's uh, it really takes the. You added a little luck here, just in the fact that you can kick three or more rails. They don't have that going for them in, in, in regular bank pool. Well, I don't want anybody to have no no, no shots. You're right. And I couldn't make up I my mind when that. to spot balls if we were going to spot them. And he then, is uh, going to try to get by this ball hanging. I don't think no, so. No, he's, he's playing it in the other pocket. Yeah. Little short. They will bang sharp on you. Well, here, Danny, the equipment changes on a daily basis. The first day of the tournament, the cloth is new and everything rolls along. Right. He's, he's going to play this four-ball cross side, I think, or the two-ball, either yeah. one. 
But anyway, to make it tougher this year, I don't know, they got something like 50 tables. Mm -hmm. And about 20 of them have cloth that's been used for one tournament. So the rails all come shorter and the pockets are tougher on those tables. But in all fairness, Grady, you know, our whole career, when we go to a tournament, we play it on new cloth, fast cloth that slides and everything. And every time we're in a pool of gambling, it's a little bit used in a whole different ball game. Yeah, but you remember you and I made some money in Charlie Milliken's joint in the late 60s because they had a couple of tables out there with worn out cloth. Mm -hmm. And the tournament players played on that new cloth. So we got them playing nine ball in one pocket and they, yeah. they, they didn't fare so well. You're right. Oh, Truman. Yeah, you got to make those kind. Well, he's just not quite limbered up yet. Yeah. Well, he's going to play the nine cross yeah. corner. And this one, again, will not roll off. Well, the nice thing about this, it carries with it six great ball, position for the two ball, the six ball, and the one ball. You know, he, I could see him running the whole rack here. Yeah, I really could. Uh, you got to make the first one. Right. Which he did. Well, no, oh, no, look at this. Oh, yes. Cross side, just stop oh, whiting. Man. Six balls next. I mean, the perfect line of ball. You're right. He's going to make a bunch. He's going to make a bunch. I don't see him missing that one. Oh, boy. He's loving it right now. Six ball, cross side. You know what? Oh, he's going to stiffen this. But I was going to say, if it were straight in, he could draw the ball back and play position for the one, but not here. He's going to have to get to something else. Oh, he drew it. He played position for the one anyway. Great shot. Great shot. Now the position doesn't come so easily. No, but he already will have five. Or four. Oh, he missed it. He missed the easiest of the bank. Well, you know why he missed it, trying to get position. Yeah. He, well, look, he did. <laughs> well, now look at Freddie. Now, Freddie's got a chance to, to maybe do some good here. Yeah. But it doesn't lay good for Make position, though. No. Just cinch it and keep getting that 1,400 or 1,200. Oh, oh Freddie, you can't miss you can't miss those, baby. Yeah, he's intimidated by the whole affair. That's too bad. Yeah, that's right. You must make that kind of a bank. You must. And and the big part about it is you lose a little confidence missing that. Sure. You know? Ben Rogers is out. Did he make a single bank? I don't know if they or not. No, he scratched a couple times. No, last rack he made a bank that kept him in the game. He made one bank. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he did. Ooh, look at this. That ball going is going to cause some pain here. All right, Piggy Banks is out. He's a good sport. I mean, he's going to smile, even though inside he's really broken. Well, you, know, you know what happened with that whole uh, entry. Harry Plattis, prominent Seattle attorney, was slated to play in this, and some smart gamblers got in his ear and said, for, uh, they said, Harry, you know, you get in there with those top bank pool players, and they, they're going to embarrass you a little bit. You'd be better off to stake P. Uh, so they, that's what he did. He changed. Yeah, went. but they steered him wrong because uh, he has a chance to make a bank or two. Harry would have loved to play. Sure. In oh, you should have let him play. I mean, well, I'd let someone him play. knocked him. That's terrible. That's terrible. I like to have unknown and up-and-coming players and, you know, uh, yeah. underdogs. They should have let him go. Now, here's the same situation, but not, not as good as Shannon. Oh, had. he's going to force forward and get perfect on the one. Oh, he'll get perfect on the one if he makes this. Great. Right, he's got a chance oh, to run three or four. Get it? See it? Yep, good shot. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and play position uh, four to four, cross side now. If I had this shot, uh, I don't want to hit it with medium speed. I like, yeah. to use, I like to play the cue ball to go one rail and kind of right down there towards the five and three ball. Got a lot of options. Uh, well, if he under hits it, he'll have a bank on the uh, four cross side. You know, it's right, going that right. path. I don't think he'll pound this. He'll no, finesse no. this. Oh, he missed it. Look at that. He missed it. Well, he played the cue ball exactly like I wanted to. Yeah. But, uh, well, he'd like to have that one back, wouldn't he? Sure would. Oh, that's one of the easier banks. But I guess 
we should stop calling any bank easy because, you know, they're out there fighting for their lives and you don't really have a lot of barrels. One ball underneath, straight back. Now here's a shot that uh, oh, somebody had one of these a minute ago and they hit it too hard. Shannon had one. Well, the, the, you don't want to hit this too hard. It's just a nice oh, right. medium speed. Right, and if you hit it to good speed, you're going to go to that four cross side. See, they did the same thing yeah. that Shannon did. Yeah. And the other guy's not going to like this. Does this bank cross side? Yes. No, cross corner, I think. Cross side, I think. Well, maybe. Well, but uh, yeah. the cross side, the one blocks half the pocket, Danny. Yeah. Well, I guess he's going to play it cross corner. And the thing about it also is you control the cue ball better this way. Well, I'll tell you how I feel about the good players. Whatever he decides is the right shot. Miscued. He was playing it inside. He miscued. Shannon no, that was a tough shot no matter what he yeah. decided to do. Well, <clears throat> Shannon has the four, I believe, cross corner. He might be able to twist this five ball near the cross corner. He's got straight back, I should say. Now he'll play this cross side rather than straight back, I you think. You think so? Let's we'll see. Oh, this is a good one pocket shot. Yeah, he's playing it cross side. What they like to do is draw this cue ball to the side rail. Yeah, to players. kill it. Yeah. To kill it. I don't like this because it is flying around. That's the shot. I like the way he played it. Look that's the right did. shot. Oh, you got to love the way he played it. He made it. That's what Fats used to say. If someone would come up to him and say, I, I had this shot and this shot and all that, Fats, uh, hey, man, what was ball. the right shot? He said, did you make the ball? He said, yeah. And then you shot the right shot. <laughs> so he shot the right shot. Oh, he kind of raised up on that. Yeah, he's right been doing that a lot. A few of them have. Well, we don't have much here. Uh, that blocked the bank. Yeah, look at this. Uh, Poor Freddie has nothing. Well, Freddie plays a... Uh, Let's see. Uh, that ball's too far from the side pocket to play it two rails across yeah, side. It's going to stiffen back. But they could play it three across the side. Takes a perfect hit. You're right. You're right. Because you're crossing it and you're going to put right hand English on that ball. You're right. But in, in all fairness, he doesn't have too much. Well, if I couldn't do that, I'd play the five back to my right and just send the cue ball into the ten ball and I'd just yeah. go all out to try to make it. Well, the thing about it is, you know, even though there's no safety, you got to think a little safety. And if he does that, he, oh, he's not going to sell out because both balls near the side don't go anywhere. Two railer he's playing? I don't know if he's playing two or four. Or the four. Four. Four, but it went a little long. Went a little long. See, he did. But he played it smart, though, uh, yeah. because uh, at least he left it where the next next player has yeah. to make a long shot. It's a moral safe, I call it, because everyone else in the game will do the same thing. Tony's going to do the same thing. He'll play the yep. three cross corner and send the cue ball right back on the yeah. same end rail from which he's shooting. Yeah, but the ball banks. This ball banks cross side. Oh, here it is again. No, this one's a kiss. Oh, he's going to look at it. Freddie the Beard, Benavegna, is hanging here. Uh, how many people does he have to wait for to shoot again? He just shot, so that means six more players have to shoot for, I don't like his uh, chances. One of the six is gonna make a bank and poor Freddy is gonna be out. Well, in all fairness, Danny. He's hoping. He, he had an easy cross side. Yeah, he could have made If you that. put the object ball where Freddy had it and well, gave him the opportunity to place a cue ball anywhere he wanted uh, for that shot, he couldn't have done any better than the shot he had. So he had to make that. Anyway, that was a, uh, that's a that was huge. Yeah. It was life threatening. And he missed it.
Brownback's not sitting too well either. He overstiffened it. Well, that's uh, how many guys now? Three. Yeah, no. Freddie's still hoping. He needs he's two more guys, and it's his shot. Yeah. But if the one goes cross side, he's yeah. not going to. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Look at it. Oh, look at it. In fact, these are oh, great for Truman to get all four of these, don't they, Danny? Yeah. This is one of my favorite shots. Right. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, that's the end of Freddie. The end of Freddie. So, friends, little Freddie? No, he didn't get very good. Freddie's uh, laughing, but he isn't happy. Miscued again. You know why he miscued? Because he's jumping up terribly. Yeah, he's jumping up terribly. He's missing the cue ball. Well, at least Freddie made a few banks. Yeah, well, Freddie, you still have the bank pool tournament to go for. Can he see the three? Mm. If he can, that's got to be the right shot. Yeah, I think he could. I think he could. Glenn Rogers sadly put the chalk on the table that he was rat holing. <laughs> he had him. He was carrying around a piece of chalk, and now he finally decided he's not playing anymore. You remember Artie Blue Shirt? Sure. He used to sure. have his own powder. He oh, carried his yeah, own mattress yeah, in yeah, his yeah. car. And, and he had shirts with, with, uh, with cufflinks that he used pins for. Look at that hit. Yeah. Look at that hit. He's going to get them all, maybe. No, I don't know. No, oh, he got snuffered. But well, he's still got five cross points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Blue shirt had the shirts with the pins in instead of cufflinks. Oh, he was an yeah. interesting guy. They oh, offered yeah. him a one-way ticket to anywhere in the world, provided he stay a year. <laughs> <laughs> I gambled with him a lot. Did you? Yeah, sure. He's a great guy. Yeah. He just had to understand his idiosyncrasies. Yeah. I liked him. He came to Buffalo a bit. See, he's overcutting this a little bit because it's going to grab so much English, it's going to go long automatically. Oh, what a shot. What a hit. What a hit. Oh, if he doesn't hit this ball, he might like it. Yeah. Oh, he likes it. He likes it. That was a beautiful shot he just yeah. turned in. <laughs> it was a lot of money shot, especially if he makes that one. Oh, boy. He didn't miss it badly. No, he sure didn't. Tony Carbo. Tap shoot. Tony will make this. He'll come close for sure. No, he didn't. He didn't come close either, but he's oh, waving right, at the right. wind, too. None of them are really, they right, don't have right. their fundamentals down, except Shannon right now looks like the most powerful. Plus, he, ha he has all the money, too, doesn't he? I believe so. We'll get a reckoning. Uh huh. There's only 14,000 total money. Shannon has 10,400 yeah. of it, we're told. He's got a lot of barrels. Anyway, this is the Derby City Classic, the eighth running of it all around, and our sponsors are Chalk Off Pool Table Cleaner, BCA Pool League, Diamond Tables. Look at that shot. Great shot. Great shot. Hand for Freddie Badman. Freddie's a great guy. You know, he had a nice yeah. crap swim in the mid-60s. So he canceled his plane We love ticket. you anyway, Freddie. He had a nice crap swim in the mid-60s in, in yeah. Vegas, yeah. and he had a plane ticket home, but he canceled it and took the bus home. He says, that bankroll ain't going down with me in an airplane crash. <laughs> you know, he's almost right. Well, we've all made, we've all gambled so much, we've all had our share of scores. You got lucky with craps in Reno. Times, yeah. I got lucky a few times. Yeah, if you gamble enough, you're going to make a score now and then. It might not overcome the losses or the bite, but, you know, you're going to get it. <laughs> right, right. Okay, a couple more of the backers here. Sardo Rack, the Billiard Club Pro Shop, the Spider Laser Training Aid. I Miss Simonis Cloth, Aramith Belgium Billiard Balls, 
in the Billiard Club Network and AccuStats Video. Made the one on the side. He made three balls on the break, and he doesn't need the bridge. You know what I don't understand here, Danny? Now you're going to have to help me with this. I'd love to. Last year, it was 42 games, best nine ball players in the world, before one 10 ball break and run out was recorded. Last night was more of the same thing. Parikh ended up winning the game, but I don't think there were any break and run outs, and they were not making balls on the break. How is it that he makes uh, three, you know, ten Not balls. three, he made four. Oh, he made four, yeah. They weren't making any. But in all fairness, Pagalayan ran five wrecks last year in the ten ball ring game. Yeah, but only after they had played oh, for yeah, about three yeah, hours. Yeah. It was, you know, not very exciting till then. Oh, he hit it way too soft. It's going to go so long. Well, that was a hard shot. It was it off was, angle. It was. He would have liked to pound I'd like it. to get the standings with the money so we can figure things out here. All right. Let's see here. Shannon's got 10,200. Uh-huh. Oh, Fargo's on the, down to a hundred bucks. Well, when does he shoot? How many people does he have to wait for? Let's see. Uh, Brumbeck, he's got to wait for three more here. But here's the standings. Dalton has 10,200. Brian Gregg, 1,600. Truman, 1,300. Brumbeck, 800. And Tony Fargo, only 100. Now look at this, how thin this is going to have to be struck. This is a uh, really hard really shot. Really tough because, again, cutting this ball, the friction is going to put so much right-hand English on that 10 that you almost got to cut it backwards. I don't like his He's going to twirl it a lot, but I don't like his end of this. i got to bet it goes long, don't you? Sure. But we have a long history of being wrong. So <laughs> yeah. what we know well, we that. could be, but it looks like it's going to go long. Get it? It just was getting any scratch beside. But it just, you know, when you cut a ball, it's just going to get so much English on it. Danny had a good point there. Uh, almost impossible to get that yeah. not long enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, in Truman's position, Danny, uh, he's only got $1,300. He's got to go for position here and try to run some banks. Oh, bank the 10. He's got ball in hand. Bank the 10. And force forward to the, uh, what is that, the six or the nine, one or the other. Don't put an angle. I would hit, put it straight on and force forward a little. You're gonna, he can get five or six banks here. Sure. Got to make the first one. Yeah. Oh, he jumped up and he got the kiss. Oh, you know what? There's a lot of pressure when you could run five banks if you make this one, right? There's not as much pressure if you're only getting one. Am I right? Yeah, the shot of, Shannon could uh, end up with all the money this rack. Yeah. He's going to start, in my opinion, with the seven ball, the brown ball, cross corner. No, That's he's, what he's looking at now. Or he's, he's got the two at the cross five, side. The five. Well, if, That's that what he's looking at. It looks to me like the five only has a half a pocket. I think the other shot's yeah, better. Yeah, you might be right. Let's see if he grazes yeah. the top part of that brown ball if he tries his shot. I like the seven. I do. Again, it's that one pocket shot that if you needed one, it should be over, right? Right, right, sure. And if he hits this the right speed, he's going to have some cross-side easy ones. But he's looking at, he wants to shoot that five so badly. But. Yeah, I thought he'd think better of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, if he makes this, he's falling on some cross-side easy shots. He's not going to hit this hard either. No. He's going to roll it sort of. Beautiful. Shannon wins everything with seven more balls. Pretty hard to do, but it would be fun to watch for sure. Yeah, seven more balls. Well, you know this this match they're getting dropped like flies so badly that that picking the high run we may have been off because they're not going to get that many chances. Right, Grady? Right, right. Uh oh, Whew, he spun it around. Look at this. I'll tell you what. The five goes now. 
Tony oh, Fargo has been eliminated, folks, out there in Radio oh, Land. Oh, he's got the five now, and he's going to have the nine next, I believe, if he wants to. Well, there's different ways that he can play. Yeah, he, this uh, is a little more cut. Than, uh, he, can, he could send the cue ball into the two ball as he banks the five. That's the shot I like. Yeah, yeah. Roll it and go hit ball so you don't fly all the way upstream. He's he didn't come make high. it. He was trying to hold it for the nine. That was a mistake. He should have rolled it into the balls, like you said. Hit well, one. one more bank there would do serious financial damage to the other players, you know, and yeah. I wouldn't yeah. worry so much about position. Now, Brian has an excellent chance to, to run some things here. Now, Shannon has not forgotten last year either. Win out of $12,000. Shannon had all the money except 700 and uh, Brian ran the, the, the game out and won. Problem is he doesn't have a great beginning. Wait, what, what is this? I, Eight I, ball straight backs. What I like the ten. Yeah, me too. Oh, this is tricky here. Not for him though. That's what he did all last year. He's got the three now. I did, I believe. Oh, he can get some banks here. Well, he'd learn from Bugs and Bugs. Great position player at banks. Yeah. Fearless, and uh, that's the style. Of, the style of game that Brian plays. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah, this could be... Uh, John Brumbach of, of, of uh, Sherm Q's is out. Can't blame the Q's, though. No, you sure can't. Well, if he makes this, he's going to go right to the nine, I believe, or, or the uh, four. Oh, well, he overdid it. He's going to look at this, cross-side. Sandy, he has as good a bank pool stroke as I've ever seen, man. It's almost like we were watching our old friend Bugs out there. And talking about fearless, that's what he is. He's not intimidated by anybody, the money, the bank, the players. He's just going to get up and shoot the balls in. Oh, man, he's going to make this and have the nine next. Oh, he's not playing position. He almost got lucky. Last year, he turned in a three-railer on a five-ball of this nature. He's not going to do it here. He's going to play the one cross corner. Truman, we're informed, is down to his last $100. He's hanging. Only he's hanging. by a thread, though. Yeah. Last corner, one row. Oh, he's, he's blinking a little bit. He, he, might, he sees himself going. Well, How many has he run? Four? I think three, right? Three. Okay. And how much are we playing for here? 400? 200. Oh, okay. 200. So he's made. But after this game, they shake him up and yeah. he goes to 400. Yeah. It won't last much longer after that. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. So he did that all last year. I'm not surprised. Well, you remember last year, he made a couple shots of the sort, the five ball, you know, he has right now. Yeah. Is in, uh, He's got the two. Okay, he's not going to have to shoot the five, and that's even better. Yeah. Well, I love this kind of stroke that these great bank pool players use on this type of shot. Danny, don't you? Yeah, and he isn't jumping up like everyone else. Oh, he's stiffing that one. He Go saw line. the goal line. Well, he didn't leave much. He left the nine. I believe he could twist the nine in. Well, guess what? This is visions of last year all over again. The yep. same two guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we got. That's how it ended last year in the finals. And, of course... Glenn won it. Brian Glenn won it. Now he over That's it. just what he got Shannon doing last year, too. He yeah. uh, got a little cavalier on a couple of shots. Danny, well, we've got a brief moment here. 
Why don't you tell the fans about your new book? Oh, yes, I have a book out called The Road Player. It has all the players in it of the last 45 years, pictures and all, and stories. I think you'll enjoy it. You might learn a little bit more about uh, how we lived all these years and the camaraderie. And, you know, we were one big happy family in Johnson City. Well, I mean, also, they don't know, I don't suppose, that you were friends with the likes of Fred Astaire. Yeah. And Sugar Ray Robinson. Mm -hmm. All those people. All right, cross the corner. He's going to draw the cue ball. Like that. He's jumping up Yeah, he jumped up a little there. Yeah, he's looking... Uh, he's got a four-railer here, unless he's got the nine. He might have the nine cross side. Yeah, he yeah, has he room. Does. Uh, no, not cross. He'll play cross corner, I think. Oh, I think he's got a good cross side. Well, he didn't. He likes to pound those in. I, I really like to cross side on that shot. He hasn't hit one of those bad all day. Now, last year when Brian made that great comeback, he kind of temporized and, and, and was careful with his shot selection, didn't go crazy or anything. He could shoot the two or the five here and kind of control Whitey. <laughs> there, oh. It's like the both look like the same situation. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And he's closer to the other ball. I'm surprised he's shooting this one. All right, he could stiffen that other one, too, just as easily. I'd take the other one, too. Sure, sure. Well, he might prove us wrong. Oh, well, he double banked it. Okay, here's the current standings. Shannon has 10,500. Uh, Brian Gregg, 3,500. Well, we're going to raise it next yeah. time, right? Yeah, we're going to $400 a bank. Look at this. This is a pretty shot here. One, two, three. Nope, not quite. Yeah. He hit it good. They go on, on diamond tables, that shot. Sure. In fact, uh, Danny Harriman won the tournament with that shot a couple years back. He's playing this cross. Straight, straight back. back. Straight, straight shot, back, right? yeah. Sure. Low right hand English. He'll try to kind of get out in the middle of the table where he'll have some kind of shot on the two ball. Well, he's going to hit it hard enough where it doesn't stay down here if he misses it, which he didn't. Just like that. Well, Truman was leaving the arena, and as he went by uh, Glenn, he, uh, he said, nice shot. <laughs> You know something interesting here, Danny. Uh, there's only been one kick shot. You're right. That three rail shot, and he almost made that. Oh, 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 oh. He squatted Whitey. Here we'll see a lot more safeties, right? A lot more moral safeties. There's Shannon's. Uh, uh, it's his wife. Yeah, I hope it's his wife. It's his girlfriend? It's his girlfriend. I were told it's okay. his girlfriend. Well, well uh, I'm not pulling against Shannon, but it's starting to look just like last year. You're right. And Brian has more money than he did last year at this juncture. He's going to try to bank this cross corner. Very de delicate shot, you know. Uh, I mean, you're going to eventually have to do something wild with the nine. Well, what I'd do is I'd play this cross corner and try to send the cue ball back, in, back into yeah. the nine. A little right-hand English, one rail, go right at the nine. That's what he did. Steady made the cue ball. See, the difference here in this oh, ring game, he don't have to spot one and oh one. Well, this is a little tough. He can play the nine cross corner, but it looks like the point of the side pocket's in the way. That's what he's looking yeah. at. Yeah. Or he, the, uh, Brian got a little fortunate in that the two ball is either frozen or very close to it. So Shannon has no one rail. Or he, he could play a four rail. That's probably what I would play. Oh, he's shooting this shot. See, the bad part about this shot, it's not all rubber he's hitting. He's hitting some of the facing, you know, like the uh, not just rubber. It's going to come off funny, I'm pretty sure. Not too funny. <laughs> he missed it by a hair. Yeah, he hit it pretty good. Yeah, that was the shot that uh, Brian Glenn looked at, too. Well, he's got a bank on the nine, a one-pocket bank. 
Let the cue ball go. Hit well, it he, can, he can play it cross corner or straight back. But four rails. So. Oh, man, I don't like this yet. I like this shot. And one of the things I like about this play in one pocket, I've had it a couple times in my life for big money where I yep. hit, hit it, and, and when it hit the third rail, I knew I made it. Mm -hmm. I shoot that a lot. It's a good shot. It's better than trying to cut the ball backwards. Straight back. Swish. Nice stroke, nice stroke. Swish. That was a great stroke. Nice, solid, great stroke. Shannon Dalton. Oh, he hit that miserably. Well, that shot on these tables, you have to cut a little more to compensate for the English that's coming on it when you cut it. When you cut it at that angle, it's getting right-hand English. Freddie has a great term for that. He calls that collision-induced English. Yeah, I call it friction-induced. Right. Same thing. Right. But uh, that's what happens on it. you got to compensate by putting a little right-hand English to overcome that friction. Now, here, there's no reason for him to uh, not leave the cue ball on the in rail when he's right. done. Speed to the pocket. You don't pound this. This either trickles in or stays there. Right, like this. Like that. Oh, this isn't going to be good. It couldn't stop worse. Well, I, I play this two rails uh -huh. in the lower right-hand side pocket. Right. The pocket to the right of Shannon right now. It's a one-pocket shot, actually. And it's sitting pretty good. It's sitting pretty good. Well, it's the only shot he's got. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's going to... That's what he's going to play. It's going to skid a little bit, so you're going to have to hit it fairly sharp. You know, you got to cut it a little more than you think. Oh, he's kicking oh, it. Oh, all right. Well, that's the thing you can do in this game because you're not going to lose one. What does he do now? What do you do here? I forgot about the kick. Man, that enters a whole new thing in the game. Right. Yeah. And especially you don't lose a point. Oh, this will bank cross corner. It takes a perfect hit. Like that, almost. Well, he's going to leave a bank. He's going to have to he sweat this back. one out. And and he isn't going to let this... Well, I don't know. He might be able to cross. No, nah, I think he's going to have to stiffen it. Right? Look at the shot at, at the monitor. I think he's going to have to stiffen it. Yeah, this doesn't lay where you can lag it. No. He's going to stiffen it and fire it. Miss it. Uh-oh. If would hit the cue ball... Uh, he might have had a gimme if there's such a thing in bank pool. I don't know. Can he go forward? He's looking at going forward. Yeah, he, I guess can, he, he could. can cross this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is another shot. Speed to the pocket. If you miss it, the guy shouldn't have a shot. And you cannot shoot this hard. No. No. You need it. And he made nice it. Shot, he nice made shot. it. You're right. This is Deja Blue, right? Yep. What are the money standings, guys? Oh, here we go. Shannon has 10,300. And uh, Brian Gregg, 3,700. They're going to take a short break, and I guess so shall we. Okay, Shannon has $10,300, Brian Gregg 3700 
Danny, they're going to bet $400 a bank for one game, then it goes to 800 bucks per bank, and then the all-in format. Yeah. So it's going to get interesting and exciting, as we expected at the outset of this spectacular affair with seven of the best bank pool players in the world. And it shouldn't last more than 15 more minutes also. That's going to load his break again. Last time he made four balls. And Mark Slide Sr., that's on 16. 17 is Dave Huffman and Clay Carmen. That's on 17. Well, the one went in the side again. The three went in the corner. He made two balls, and like you said earlier, they were playing ring 10 ball yesterday, and nothing's changed. It's still 10 balls, and they weren't making balls on the bunker. Also, the pink ball blocks the six ball from going cross side. Um, he can't reach the two ball comfortably. I tell you, the shot I really like here is him playing the pink ball straight back one rail if he has that available to him. I can't tell if he can shorten that up a little bit or not. I'm kind of partial to the two ball. You know, I mean, if he wants to gamble on it. Uh, That's a hard shot for a right handed player to reach. Yeah, he can't be. A left hander would reach so easily, but he's going to shoot it anyway. That's what he is shooting. Okay, here we go. Two balls straight back. Starting on table 31, Rob Saez. Oh, he hit it. Oh, he it by a little, but. That's what this game is. is you know, in a lot of sports, they say it's a game of inches. This is a game sometimes a quarter of an inch. You catch that point, which means you missed by a quarter of an inch. The ball doesn't go. Well, meanwhile, Shannon doesn't have much. He, he could play the pink ball two rails cross corner. That doesn't go either. Uh, I don't really see a shot here. Well, is it possible? For the pink ball to go cross side. Does it go through here, Brady? See, he's looking at playing this, this pink ball across the corner. Eddie Taylor used to shorten this up beautifully. Oh, yeah. It will shorten up because it's going to dig into the rubber and then come out, and Ed shortens it up. He's got to hit it hard, but he didn't come close. But in all fairness, that's the kind of shot if you make, you look like a genius. And if you miss it, you look like a Vincent sucker. Vaughn. He actually can't turn out pretty good considering the fact that he frappéed multiple balls. Yeah, but I think he left the 10. Yeah, that's what he's going to have to take. Yeah. Uh, I think he left the 10. Well, he's got the two ball cross corner, too. He's close to it. Looks like it's... Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but if he shoots that and misses it, he's leaving a, a bank on that seven. That's true. Yeah, you know, you got to be careful now. You're playing position for you're the only guy in the game with you. He's playing the one ball back to his left. That's the, probably the safest shot. Boy, he didn't hit it very well. No, he didn't. What's this ball going to do? He's got a, I think he's got a straight back shot on this ball. Yeah, he does. On the one, I'm two dead. blocks a touch of the pocket. But this, uh, you know, he can play halfway safe with this shot too. Yeah, you know, this is where safe's gonna come in a little bit more than when it had seven players. You know, your next guy is the guy that's in contention, so you have to do a little bit of mental safeties. He tried to twist it in, and the ball didn't grab the English. But. What did he leave? Well, he didn't leave much. Uh, Maybe nothing. Maybe the three. He might have the three all the way back to the left. You got to be careful if he shoots that. The one might bank cross corner if you left the cue ball yeah, on the end rail. Yeah, it could. First look, it looked like it's congested with the pink and the orange, but maybe not so. If that's the case, he can't shoot the three. See, a little while ago with seven players, he could have shot the three. He's going to take your shot. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a little concerned here. I don't know if I can meet the two and a half hours. If they make one ball at a time for about 40 minutes, it's going to be rough going. Well, the balls did stop a little funny. You know, it's not going to be easy for anyone to run three or four. Stiffen it again. Ooh, he could have hit that full. And, well, no, no. this ball got in the way in case the one went. But he does have the two straight pack. Oh, I, I expect him to make this one. Well, they've been hitting this type of shot too thick. Yeah, it's been coming back sharp. But I expect him to hit this one. 
Okay, everybody should try their table. Nope, he did it moments. again. He hit it just the way you said and, they've been uh, missing, and he missed it again. Orange ball. Yeah, and this, uh, he's going to go ahead and play position here, I would suspect, Danny. Yeah, he could. He's behind. He, well, he has to do a little more than Shannon right now. If he plays position, he could play for the four ball cross side, the 10 or 9 uh, cross corner. Main thing is stay down, follow main through. Main thing is make it make right. Make this bank. He Good did. Shot. He did. What's the position look like? Not much. He has the 10. Maybe well, the 4. I, like, I mean the 7. The seven. I, yeah, I like the 7 cross yeah. corner. You send the cue ball right into the 8-9. Yeah. 7 ball cross Oh, if he makes this, he's going to have some easy banks. Nice he shot. Made it. Nice shot. Nice shot. This is what happened last year. He just showed more firepower in the end. Well, that's what the top bank pool players do. They, they're able, almost like a one-pocket player who can forget that if he misses, he, he loses the game because the other guy has balls in front of their pocket. They're able to just go all out to make the bank. He loves that shot. That's a three. <laughs> he loves that shot. Now with the 10 back to his right. Six well, he's looking at the oh, six, six the one pocket. You know, cutting this, it's going to get left-hand English, so you just have to make a good hit, and you got a chance to pocket it. There it is, but he didn't have any, you know, he actually might have had a little of the wrong English because that ball spun way off to the right. He didn't lose his head, I don't think. Three ball. Three ball. Three ball, straight back. Made good it. job, good job. That was the speed that made that. A little harder, it wouldn't have gone. Right. Yeah. He had perfect speed on it. Well, these are the kind of been hitting too sharp. I think I'd have to make an adjustment and miss one the other way, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, he shot it that way and missed it. See, he has to shoot. He can't just roll on the 10, right? Right. He has See, to oh, try oh, to oh. make a ball here. But don't forget the kicks are legal. He's got yeah. a three-rail oh, yeah. kick on the 10 That's also, right. which That's is right. certainly reasonable. He's not thinking about it. The three-rail kick on the 10 is much better than what he's doing. He's not thinking about it, but only because you're not accustomed to doing that in bank pool. That's true. Richie, Richie, you need on table 18. He overdid it. He overdid it. Overdid it, which is hard to do. Yeah. Well, he may have the eight, not the eight, what is that, the two down there? Well, if this, he's looking at the kick, but it does not carry with it position. Yeah. He's got the two, or two rail around the one, but he's playing the two. Low right English here, like that. He didn't make it. Another thick hit, though. They're all missing him wide. Does uh -oh. that mean maybe the table's Danny getting a little look. wetter? Yeah, I see it. Well. Is the table getting a little wetter from the crowd or something? Because they're all banking sharp. I think it's the plastic balls. Bugs and his friends used to have a guy named Youngblood Number 1 in Chicago, and he never missed his shots like that. Uh, and it was because the mud balls never skidded. And they banked real true. And uh, Well, it's interesting what you just said, young blood number one. Is that the young blood I knew? No, you, you know, know James Brown, James who Brown, was a yeah, real, yeah. he was a rascal, even though we oh, both yeah, liked him. Yeah, yeah, He had that raspy voice. But yeah. anyway, I like sending the cue ball into the pink ball here. Sure. Mix him up a little bit. Oh, now easy, you got to. an easy shot. Yeah. If there's such a thing as an easy shot in Banks, that was it, and he missed it. That, that was could, a big shot there. Yeah. He, he needed that, really. Sure did. To pump uh, Shannon up. He still hit it wide. 
still hit it wide. They're missing That's it the true. same way. I, I Like I say, miss one the other way. Now, Danny, look at this. Uh, cross corner, but yeah. you got to be careful with this. you got to twist this pretty good to make it. Well, because you're cutting it, and in the cut, you're putting the friction that puts right-hand English on that ball, and you got to come with a little bit of right-hand English to overcome that. He wants to hit this easy, like that. Good shot. Yep. Okay, cross side. Cross side with with the pink. Now he's got a, uh, some possible kick shots in a minute here too. If he can. Yeah, he's not thinking kick, he Grady. Can. He's not thinking kick. I can, I can tell that. No, no good. Well, we got a ball in the way of the kick. That was not one in the way of the eight ball kick, though. Yeah, you're right. He's eight not thinking through. of it either. Yes, he is. He's shooting He's it. shooting it? Good, yeah. good. A little long. No, he made it. No, he can't double kiss it in, could no, he? No, he can't double nope. kiss it. Nope. 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 You see, folks out there? That's what we're talking about when we said this is probably okay, the least luck involved in a pool game. You see that? That looked like a good shot. If you're playing nine ball or eight ball, it would have counted. But in this game, you've got to hit it clean and once. He double kissed it in. It does not count. I like him drawing this ball. Might as well try yeah. to get some position. Yeah. He figures to make this. Yes, he does. Good See, not only that, it didn't roll off. Where did we go from here? Well, he's got a one rail around the one. He's got the pink ball. The, yeah, the pink ball isn't natural, though. It doesn't cross easily. It doesn't shorten up very well. Plus, you could be selling out an easy bank. He called it four rails. Well, oh, I like this. Shot? I like this. Oh, I like this. He's been hitting them too short. Let's see what he does. The you problem with this school? shot is the side pockets where you want to hit them. Yeah, that's what it looks like. That's close. That is close, but no cigar. That's how he's been missing that shot. Maybe it's not on, Grady. <laughs> Maybe it's not on. You never know. He's got one rail on the uh, yellow ball, the one. Yeah, but he's got to shoot over that ball. That's tough yeah. to make a good hit. You're right. I'd he, rather play the pink ball cross side right. than do that. Well, he's not going to draw the ball either. He's just going to go forward, try to make the ball. He played a double bank. Double banks are a little tough on these tables. They want to straighten out. Well, the nice thing about the six ball shot, if that's what he elects to take, and I think that's his best shot, he's close to it. So he can make a good hit on it. All he's got to do is maybe use one tip of right English. Kind of okay, a center ball hit. Floor, yeah, see, and where, where that English Stage grabs and puts friction is helpful five. here. You want that Anderson. ball to get the English. Oh, he played it. Yeah, he, I think he I think he could have uh, cut it and banked it one rail in the corner. Sure. And we need Jim Waste on table two. Well, he probably was afraid of going upstream and selling out the uh, the yellow ball. If, cannon, if, if the cannon wants to uh, be dangerous here, he can go all out here and play position for the one. You don't want to do this ordinarily. No good. Well, he left the one. Might even left this ball. Oh, boy. Ugh. See, the fans recognize an easy bank, and they said, come on, kiddo. Someone in there knows him real well and called him kiddo. Well, what's nice about what he ended up with, Danny, he can draw the cue ball back a little bit and be perfect for the one ball. Oh, he's perfect if he makes this. He sure did. And oh boy. he played position for the four ball straight back. That's what he's looking yep. at. I think he got a nice angle on this. I think he can just follow this two rails. One ball cross side. He could, he could get out here. He could... Uh, one rail the four ball. He can draw the ball and go and knock that ball in, too. Oh, he doesn't and he want might to do have that. a bank. He doesn't want to do that. No, he doesn't. Apparently. He'll he play the kick next. Might do it here. No. Not enough angle. But this is going to stiffen. This Three will banks. definitely oh. stiffen. What do you make there? Two banks? Yeah. Six. 
silence in the crowd. This is a lot of suspense, and they're and they're uh, really pool fans. These people, eight years of it here, I think they learned something. What Absolute, do you think? Well, sure. Well, before that, they had Truman and the likes of uh, Donnie Anderson to watch. And Gary, Gary Spaeth. Yeah, Shannon. that's right. Gary Spaeth. He's inducted into the bank pool hall. What a hit! What a hit! Yeah. <laughs> Here comes the kick. He's aware of the kick now. Oh, I think he's got to hit the uh, third diamond. It's going to go so long. Hit the third diamond. Oh, I wouldn't jack up. No, That's going to make it go short. I don't need to jack up. Well, he, That's going to make it go short. But he I made think it. He, I think he, he made, made it. it. No double kiss? No, he didn't. It went short, like I said, but by an inch. <laughs> yeah, I would have hit it a little further down the rail. Of course, that means nothing what I would have done. Ten balls straight back. Ooh, man. Four railer with the cue ball? Four or five. Well, it's pretty good for the five. Five, you're right. If you can make you're the right. cue ball hit yeah, just yeah, past right. the right-hand side Four. pocket. He's making a five railer. That's the shot. He wants the cue ball to hit just past the right-hand side pocket. Yeah. Yeah. This is going to be close and exciting. These are the kind of shots the crowd loves if they happen to go. That's close. That's close, but no cigar. Shannon has a three railer now. Well, tell me this, Grady. If he, it, would it be considered three rails if he banked it the short way? No, no billiard type three rail. No, you can't get that other rail and then. No. Oh, okay. Oh, he's going long here. Oh, he doesn't know the shot. He, he didn't know the shot. See, folks, in, in this game, you don't spot a ball. So you could try all these things. He's going to try it again. This game's going to end with one of them kicking it in three or more rails. Grady added that in the game, so it, it, it's never like a stiff. If he didn't have that right now, it'd be sort of boring, and we don't allow safes, and he would have no choice but to play a safe. I'd really so, rather have him spot this ball up, though. This I don't like this very much. So. Oh, you mean if they scratch, just spot well, it up? Well, if it's the last ball like this, I don't want him kicking at it ten times. Well, that's what's going to happen, but I think he's going a little bit longer this time. Well, that's close. That's close. It's in. See, that was great to put in because that's exciting. The people love that. That is really exciting. Now look at the score. Brian Gregg made all the banks. Now it's 7,100 to 6,900. And now we're playing for eight. Playing for $800 a bank, and the next game they go to all in. Let me see. What's the score here? What is it? Shannon has 7,100. Well, no one could win in this rack because... Uh, sure they could if they no, ran all it's only 5,600. You can't bust either guy. Ten times eight is 8,000 by my math. Oh, we're playing for eight. That's right. Yeah, you're right. Ten times eight. Yeah, you're right. Oh, man. And I'm an accountant, too. I went to college for accounting. <laughs> Would you believe that? I could figure gambling odds pretty good. Ten times eight, yeah. Well, if you're a gambler, one of the first things you need to know how to be able to do is figure out how much you got coming on, <laughs> on the rare occasions that that, <laughs> that takes you place. Win. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, man, this is a big break here. He makes some balls here. He's using that sledgehammer break, isn't he? I don't know. Is that I think that it is? is. I think it's the Mike Goyassi sledgehammer. Yeah, the ball hopped and went in the pocket. Uh-oh. Oh, man. After this rack, when we go to the all-in, what that means is that the player with the least amount of money, that's what the bet is for that game. And he can lose. So in other words, if, if it were just, if it were all-in now, they'd be betting 6,900 a game. 
No, 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 no. Uh, per ball, right? Per yes, ball. that's Excuse right. Me. So if it goes to all in, one bank wins. First well, no, it depend, depends on the score. No, the. Oh no, you're right. But if he goes all in, right. that is it. No, it isn't. The guy with the okay. least amount of money could make the bank. You're right, but it's still impossible to be one bank and it's over. Sure, that's a, it, that's what will happen. Uh, Unless they both have seven thousand, right? Then it ends one way or another. Well, they both have seven thousand, right? Yeah. Uh oh, I see. Sir. That's an uh oh. <laughs> The people are playing for Brian Gregg. Where is Brian from? Indianapolis. Indianapolis. That's close enough to be near home here. Well, uh, he is the underdog, and people, I guess, like to pull for the underdog. But he was underdog last year and won. So well, I don't know if he's an underdog or not. Well, that's not, what uh, I'm getting at. When Truman recommended Brian Gregg to me for it's these fun. bank ring games, he said, Gravy, he plays just like I do. And nobody plays any better than Truman. Plus, pool players don't like to admit someone plays better or even. You know. Is the 10 crossable here? Mr. Steve Smith, table yeah. 37. I think so. I think so. I, I think. Look at it. I think he could spin forward and miss. It's close, though. He don't have room. He well, doesn't have room. He doesn't want to bank the six or the pink ball across the corner because it's only half a pocket. He's looking at that. He's got the pink ball across the side. Well, this ball's flying around. He's almost sure to leave a pretty easy bank if he misses this. Well, he, he'll hit this easy like that. Well, you know, I said if he misses it, he thinks Miss is an unmarried girl's first name. Apparently so. Yeah. He has a pretty good bank here, and he knew it, he was going to sell out something easy. Now, there's different ways he can play this. He can draw the ball. You know, hit some balls. I think that he'll draw it. Go Low left English. Hit some balls. Change everybody. I like that. Well, he's all right. He's playing a tad more solid than Shannon right now. It's like a repeat. Yeah. Well, he's got some choices here. Um, the five ball isn't a bad bank. He just has to get stiffened a little bit, but the eight oh, ball yeah, is probably the best shot. Of course, shot. you're right. You know, it's much closer. Eight you're going to hit it. If, you know, here's what I like to say. If you're going to the electric chair and have to make a bank, which one would you shoot better? Which, which one would you shoot? This one. Nope. 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 Hmm. What do you do here? He's over the top. The three will bank, but man, what a tough hit over the top. You got to stiffen it a little. Yes, I'll tell you the shot I like here. Danny is playing the one back to his right. Uh -huh. And just try to get the cue all out in the middle of the table where you don't leave the guy just a hanger bank. Well, uh, you're going to leave the eight cross corner he hit that one and overdid it oh he better not hit that ball if he would have hit that other ball and knocked it out of the way there would have been a gimme bank but he has the cross side yeah the cross side on the eight looks pretty good here doesn't yeah. it yeah yeah eight ball cross side He got to where he's got to draw it in. He'd rather draw it anyway. Doesn't want to scratch. Can we put the camera on, on uh, Conrad Burkman? I think he fell asleep. I think Bankpool put him to sleep. Look at Conrad. Yeah, but don't, um, don't suggest that that's a precedent. We, we've <laughs> no, had. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only kidding. It's just humor. Look, he's in the front row and he fell asleep. Now, Jew Paul in Detroit, if a guy fell asleep and he was close to the water fountain, Paul said, well, he's got the room with the pool. <laughs> well, did I ever tell you the story about Efren? Efren came down in Florida there, and I took him to the dog track, and I gave him a quinella to bet for $2, and he fell asleep during the race. Nice shot, Simon. Efren fell asleep during the race. 
So Cornella came in and he was sleeping and I nudged him. I said, Efren, you won, you won. He said, oh, I win, what what I win? I said, $126. He said, ooh, better than to play pool. <laughs> oh boy. That's a nice hit. Yeah. Oh, I thought he made it. Those are the ones we're talking about. Sometimes you make all of those and sometimes they wobble and you miss them all close. He's going to fire this. Well, I don't think he wants to fire the three because, you know, he's going to play this the one pocket bank straight back. And that's the safest way not to sell out something easy. He overdid it. He jumped up a little, too. Well, he sounds got a great shot here. There's a great uh, good chance to run all four. He's got the one. He's got the one hit at the right speed and you can hold it, I believe, for the side pocket for the five. Right, don't you think the speed yeah, lays? It, it doesn't lay perfect for that. He's, well, he's uh, going to shoot this ball anyway. Yeah, he thinks there's a possible kiss, I guess, on the other one, which I don't yeah. think there is. No, I don't either. He, he nice made shot. it. He made it. He made it. They're all banking sharp. I swear this table got a little wet from from the people's heat and they're missing them all short. Well, what do you do here, Brady? You shoot the uh, one, you're gonna sell out an easy bank. No, the one is the one is the only realistic shot. Yeah. One boss Yeah. Steve Smith, you're in a room, you're upstairs, and table 37 for your nine ball bank. Match, Steve Smith, table 37 upstairs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he got away with it. Good thing he hit that ball. What's he got, the four-railer? Well, the one bank. Uh, Does it? it? Yeah, it okay. takes a good hit. Yeah, stiffen it a little. A hair, a hair right-hand English might, might stiffen it. He made it close. I thought he hit it perfect. Well, he didn't leave much. No, he doesn't have much here. Might have to shoot the four railer or spin the bank on the 10. I mean, you want to play the one pack and spin bank or four rail the three. Well, the four red on the three is a pretty good shot. Yeah. But I try to hit it in a way where I don't hit the one. It's going to be tough to do without going in the pocket. Uh, look at oh, this shot. Oh, man, he squeezed it through. God almighty, what a shot there. He didn't have a half inch to get by that, that 10 ball. What a shot. He's got the four rail around the, or something. I don't He's know. going to play the 10 back to his left. A lot of right English. Yeah. Thin hit, too. No, he doesn't like it. I like your shot better. Yeah. Except the problem is that he, <laughs> he's got to draw the cue ball away yeah. towards yeah. the pin ball. Here. Well, it's your shot. You have to do something. You could play it two in the side. Well, you're still losing the cue ball a little. He's four railing it. Oh, he won rail it. What a hit. Look at this shot. Oh, my God. You know, how, you know, when that goes in, it looks great. And, and uh, if he double kissed it, he would look like an idiot again. And that was close. Well, my friend, you know, that's the way one pocket is. Yeah. You can make a shot and try to make a Jersey yeah. Red terrible removal shot, multiple <laughs> balls and all that. And sometimes you miss it entirely. And He's going to make this, Grady. No, he isn't. He jumped up. That's in. That's in. All right, Danny, they're going to the all all in. Yep. And that means if Shannon makes the ball on the break and makes the bank, it's over. 6,300 for Shannon. 
7,700 for oh, no, it Brian. Isn't. That means if Shannon doesn't make a ball on the break and Brian Gregg makes the first bank, it's over. He wants to know what that means. That means you better make a ball on the break, Shannon. That's what it means. Shannon said... They're betting 6,900 on this game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. If Shannon makes a ball on the break and, and banks the ball, it's over. You know what this is like. It's almost like at the poker table. Yeah. The guy with the most chips has a big advantage, but in this case, they have... Fair. They don't want to see it end to people. They don't like it, but, but we're on a time limit. People don't like it, but we had a time frame here. Well, you can't change the rule now. You told them a couple games ago. Shannon, you got to make a ball on the break and make a bank, and it's over with. And if you don't make a ball on the break and he banks two, it's over with. Do they have it? Well, he's, he, I believe he knows what's going on. It's been explained. You can't change it now. This is the way you set it. Well, I committed to Rob Sikora, Bigger yeah. Club Network, and Pat Fleming and Acrostash to finish this in two and a half hours. What See, are they if they played, about? If they played $1,000 a bank or $1,200 a bank or $2,000 a bank, back and, and they had a game where there's a... a Oh, a lot of kind of uh, pinching and squeezing. You know, yeah. we could get well over the time. I'd rather not do we that. We could go back and forth all night. He has to make a ball in the break. The one. Oh, man. He didn't make a ball on the break. What does he have? He's got the nine cross side. Oh, you don't have a full pocket, lady. That's He's he, looking at. Well, that's his shot, Danny. He can't. He can't get enough left fingers on the cue ball to uh, bank the nine cross corner. He's close to it, and that's the only realistic shot that he has. He's betting the game on it. Well, but wait a minute now. He's if he hits it. it right, he he could leave this halfway safe. If he puts the cue ball over about the second diamond on the end rail, the six doesn't pass the eight cross side. He could leave it tough for Shannon if he doesn't make it yeah, right. Yeah, but the orange ball banks <laughs> cross side. No, I, no. Anyway, no. Let's see. Let's see where the cue ball. Oh, he's playing, he's playing the nine, yeah. Yeah, the nine cross side. That's yeah, the, that's the shot. most logical right. shot. That is the most logical. And you're right. He doesn't have to sell out. There's nothing in the rules that says you have to give your opponent a good shot. No. He made it. Oh, that was the side of the pocket he had. He hit it awful well. What a great attempt. Well, Shannon, uh, what has he got now? The he, one straight back is all I see. I don't oh see man. much. Uh, he can't even see the brown ball, I don't think. If he could see the brown ball, he could play it back to his right. Well, oh boy. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that, Shannon, but I don't know. It's not very workable. Grady, according to the monitor, it looks like he could see the brown ball. Well, I don't think he can. I think he would have already shot. Yeah. On this one, it looks that way. Over there, it doesn't. He really doesn't have anything. No, not much. Holy good God. Well... He does have a miracle shot. It looks like the one will bank right between these two balls. Well, he looked at that. He looked at that. But yeah. you don't even have a half a pocket there. Yeah. yeah. I like the one straight back. Low, right hand yeah. English. Yeah. I mean, that's the only shot he's got. That's what it looks like. The cue ball is going to fly around a little. As we used to say, it's fraught with peril. But still, it, you know, the reward. Who's we used to say? I never said fraught with peril. <laughs> I, I used to say it's that. a great word. I used to get kidded about it. I just kidded you just now. Oh my God! Oh, he goes in. Uh oh! Look at this thing. Well, there wasn't anything he could do there. Yeah. Well, he's still got to make two banks, right? Shannon's <coughs> the one with seventy-one hundred. Oh. No, he Shannon. only wins sixty-nine here. 
I think it's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, all right. It's we 69 to 71. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, he jumped up, missed it brutally. Didn't lose his head. Well, you couldn't ask for a better shot than what he just had, yeah, could you? Yeah, he jumped straight up, but I guess you would. It's a $14,000 shot. Yeah, but now the shoe's on the other foot. Now Santa can play the six cross side and put the cue ball right back about where it is now. That's a great saying, the shoe's on the other foot. <laughs> That's right. a great thing. What are they doing? I don't know. They're probably making a deal. Let's make a deal. What are they doing? Do they make a deal? I probably. Yes, exactly. Two railer. In the corner. Right? Yeah. Uh, the six. Def definitely the right shot. He's not looking at it. That's what he's looking at. Yeah, he's looking to see if it goes, you know, he's looking at his target. Yeah. I think he's got to just squat the rock. It's in. It's in. Uh, Shannon is all in with $200. It's tough for him to win now. He'd have to make a zillion Well, this, you know what this is like? I started to make a reference to it earlier. It's like at the poker table. Yep. The guy with the most money has a big advantage. Yeah. Shannon has to win so many games right now. He's banking the eight. Oh, is that the eight? He's banking the eight. Are we going to do an interview when this is over? No good. Okay. He's got the three. Shannon would have to do miracles to win now. Uh-oh. See you later. See you later, pal. Doesn't lay perfect, Danny. No, He's got to cross the pipe. perfect, five. but it's pretty nice. Yeah. You've got all the money, and the guy's got to win 40 games to beat you. All he has to do is like cross, the, cross the fire yeah, there. That's it. It's Racky in. Sacky. Nope. nope. Nope, we're too quick. We're too quick to predict doom for one of them. But it looked like he hit it good. Very exciting match. Very exciting. <laughs> oh, now it is. Well, there's no sense stalling around. Shannon had to try to get position and run oh, some yeah, banks. Yeah, if he could have made some banks, uh, next game he could have been playing for uh, like 1,400 a ball when he was still in it. But I, I don't like his end of it right now. No, he doesn't figure to get back to the table, does he? No. No, he left him a gimme. There we go. Well, that's two years in a row, Brian Greg has upset Shannon. Maybe next year he'll be the favorite. What were the odds on him winning this? I don't know. Uh, well, we're going to do our interview down in the pit. I think better here. I'm not dressed like you. Yeah. Okay. Danny's been a pleasure working with yeah, you, buddy. Yeah, same here. 
same here. You go ahead and do the interview. have a winner in our ring game, Brian Gregg. He upset the apple cart last year with Channon in the finals of the bank pool tournament. And now he came from way behind and beat him in the ring uh, bank pool uh, game. Uh, I, I, uh, I'm very impressed with Brian Gregg, especially two years ago, I never heard of him. And I used to say that it's a good thing I'm here and can see all these straight shooters because I won't play them if they come to Florida, but uh, that's not going to happen anymore anyway. Very exciting, interesting affair there. Very interesting. Now, I wonder what they were talking about when they did talk, they may have made a little saver. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. You don't know. No, nothing wrong if they did. I don't know if they did. But. A lot of happy people in the crowd because he's from Indianapolis. That's not far away from here at all. So he had a lot of uh, people from uh, home here rooting him on. Grady is down in the pit. The money is on the table. Diane's trying to steal it. Diane Hoppy. She wants she wants to take a picture with him with the money. Grady's doing his interview. Yeah, we uh we had a very interesting contest there. There's all the money. Well, I tell you, it's like last year, I just tried to make a ball every time I got to the table and stick in there, and I just got a good roll going there at the end, just like last year, and fortunate enough to come out like I did, so. We're proud of you. Number one, you're a Bugs protege. Uh, you know, your all-around game is pretty spectacular, and winning this two years in a row is something you can be proud of all your life, plus a pretty decent payday. We're, we're glad to have you here. Well, I thank you very much, and it's an honor to be here. And one thing I like to say is thanks to everyone. You know, I had a great time. Well, give me it's a big a New Year <laughs> hug, man. All right, well, from AccuStats and Billiard Club Network and all these bank pool fans, congratulations on another sterling performance. Well, I thank you very much. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. Yep.